doubting it now. We are in the dead of winter and the prairies can't seem to catch a break. Saskatchewan and Manitoba are shivering under extreme cold. Our Cameron McIntosh bundled up and got outside to share the struggle. You can just see it as sunlight reflects off ice crystals in the sky. Wind whips snow back up into a freezing gust that bites and burns. For Winnipeg, day two of an extreme cold warning. A meteorologist's way of saying, stay inside. Yet Harry and Elise Lehman are toughing it out. Because we enjoy going for a walk and don't matter what kind of weather we go. It's actually not the temperature that's extreme. For this time of year, minus 25 is about average. It's the wind chill. On exposed skin, it feels more like minus 40. It's just been that kind of week. After arriving late, winter has hit here in full force. An early morning blizzard yesterday whacked southern Manitoba, messing with traffic, causing delays and closures, and concern for people without a place to go. So the message the Salvation Army wants to get out is we have space. We've got space in our shelter. If, you, if you're on the streets, don't stay there. Come and get into our shelter. It's the reality of the dead of winter. Cold comes, you deal with it. Last month, Winnipeg had record snow. Brian Patterson was happy to have his new snowblower. Cost me $2,300. <laughs> it was brand new. Brand new. Once again, snowblowers are a popular item for Winnipeg thieves. It didn't take long for Patterson's to disappear. We got a fair bit of use out of it already this year, but would have liked another 10, 15 years worth. If it's any consolation, the forecast is snow-free for the week ahead. By next weekend, Winnipeg is expected to be in plus temperatures. A thought warmer than a freshly jumped car battery, the but the Lehmans have other plans. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we're leaving next week. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Going to Canada. That certainly makes sticking it out in this just a little easier. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.